This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Up to the individual uh, testing site. Uh, some of them have, uh, you know, you don't have to have a waiting period whatsoever. Others, they ask you to do like two weeks. Um, so, no, I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal. If you fail it, you fail it. Um, and you already have your CDLA, so it's just not a big deal. You would just... Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at all right, we're going to be looking at Hamrick Trucking School out of Medina, Ohio. Here at Hamrick Trucking School, they make enrollment process quick, easy, and convenient. They work hard to give every student individual attention in the enrollment process. If you guys want to know more, about Hamrick, stay tuned. What kind of financial assistance do you guys offer? So we do work with several counties for Ohio Means jobs. Not all of them, but several of them we do. And they have uh, availability to give out grants if you qualify for it through their program. Uh, we also do FAFSA, which is just standard federal aid if you would go and get like, you know, any college loan. It's the same exact thing. Uh, we can do uh, VA, we can do all kinds of good stuff, actually, or just standard cash payments. What about grants? Do you guys offer that? So we do have an Ohio grant that is given to us by the federal government once per year. Uh, it's not ridiculous amounts of money, um, but sometimes we can squeeze a little bit out of it. Definitely not full tuition, but it might be like maybe a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred dollars. What is the tuition for the class? Uh, so our class is a two hundred and forty-four hour course, as opposed to the state minimum of one hundred and sixty. So it's uh, obviously a little bit longer of a course, um, and it costs seven thousand one hundred and ninety-five dollars total. What if a driver has a, a class B and want to transition over to a class A? Uh, do you guys have so, programs for that, and how much would that cost? Unfortunately, the government does not make that one easy. It's not just something where you can put in a few more hours and then switch over. They make you go through the whole dang class again. Even, yeah. even yeah. if you have class B already? Yep, they don't care. They make you do the whole damnable thing again. They, they require the full 160 hours. What about for drivers that has their class A, but they are restricted? Do y'all have, do y'all got plans for that to help a driver get their restrictions lifted? And if so, so how much would that cost? I believe that with that, you can do a, a refresher course is basically what it would be called. And refresher courses are sort of based off of the needs of the individual driver as opposed to like one like, you know, big, like, here is the guideline. This is what it is. It's, it's kind of based off the driver. And uh, we only do 10-speed manual transmission, so that definitely will take that restriction off of there if you retake the test. Uh, but the cool part about it is that if you wanted to do a refresher course to learn to do uh, the 10-speed manual, you absolutely could do that. Uh, and then you simply just go retake your test to get that restriction lifted. And to be, to be perfectly honest, you do not actually even have to take the course. If you have learned how to drive the 10-speed manual in the, in the time that you've been doing, doing this, just go take the test again. Just make sure you take it in a manual. No, I was just going to say, if you're, if you're confident in a manual, then just call any testing site that makes you happy and schedule it. And, I mean, you'll have to pay for it. I believe it's like $125 to $150, depending on where you go. But, yeah, just go take the test. You're good. Okay. That, that's good to know because mm -hmm. several of my cohorts that's in my group, they, they wasn't sure that if they had to go and take the whole – retake nope. the whole course to – learn how to drive a manual but that would be for so if somebody want to learn how to drive a manual am i correct yeah so i mean if you guys have got a manual truck somewhere on your yard and you can just peer with it and teach yourselves how to drive it then cool do that uh, but if you'd like to actually come to school for that then you can do a refresher course and just focus on the manual transmission portion what are my options if i should fail the cdl exam say like can i retake it 
And if so, how long so, how long do I have to wait or what's the, the turn turnaround? That process? would really be up to the individual uh, testing site. Uh, some of them have, uh, you know, you don't have to have a waiting period whatsoever. Others, they ask you to do like two weeks. Um, so, no, I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal. If you fail it, you fail it. Um, and you already have your CDLA, so it's just not a big deal. You would just fail the portion to get the restriction removed. So, what if? Let's just say that they fail it in Within that two weeks, would they be able to come back to the school to, to continue to practice or anything like that? So, would you guys offer in that yes. time span? Yes. If you if you do come to the school to take a refresher course to learn manual and you go up to take uh, the test to get your restriction removed and you, you do not pass that portion of it, that's perfectly fine. Come on back here to the yard and, and practice more. Not a big deal at all. The students that didn't pass for their class A, B, or get their restrictions lifted, uh, would they be able to get some type of refund or anything? No, definitely not. Do you guys offer dro- uh, job placements? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we've got lifetime job assistance. So it's it's a, it is literally job assistance as opposed to job placement because like we don't work on contracts whatsoever. So we're not going to tell you who you need to go work for. With that said, though, we've got over 50 companies that we work with on a very, very regular basis who are constantly coming to us, you know, hey, do you have any drivers? Hey, you have any drivers? You know, when's your next graduating class? We need people. So, um, you know, depending on what it is that you want to do in the field, whether it's, you know, long haul or, you know, fly better, whatever you want, we will hook you up with the individual companies who do the things that you actually want to do for driving. And then it's up to you to do the research for them and make sure that, you know, you are confident that that's who you want to work for. Go ahead and apply. Um, And, you know, as long as they like you and you like them, then you get the job. Uh, It just sort of gives you a little bit of a leg up with that company because they know that you're from Hamrick. Last question. And again, thank you for giving me the time. You mentioned that every that you guys do train in the manual. I'm I'm sure you guys got automatics, but what did what? We is, do not. Oh, y'all don't have no automatics at all. No, we train in manual only. Okay, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. What is the course like? What what the course entails? So there's a little bit of everything you can think of. If you were going to go through uh, the standard 244 course from start to finish, you would of course start in the classroom where you would learn how to log your miles, you would learn the pre-trip and post-trip inspections by the book. Uh, and, and Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. I was just saying that you literally learn how to drive that truck from start to finish. You learn all of the logbook uh, information that you need and how to fill them out properly. Uh, you learn what to do at a way station. You learn all the different laws and regulations for, you know, what lane you're allowed to drive in and, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, and then you actually move out to the yard and in the yard, you're going to learn, you know, how to couple. You're going to learn how to, you know, make sure that everything's hooked up and secured properly. You're going to learn your pre-trip. You're going to learn your post-trip. You're going to learn alley docking and straight back and the whole nine yards parallel, everything. Uh, and then you actually also, will, after you learn all of that good stuff, we'll get out on the road with an instructor and actually drive and put some miles in. So you guys mm-hmm. are not just training just to get the license. But you guys are oh, gosh, training no, teaching you to drive to to to, mm-hmm. to drive and learn what's going on out here. Thank you. And that's that's another reason why we do a 244 hour class, because state the state and DOT says that you have to have 160 hours of instruction time to get your CDL class A. But we've been doing a 244 hour class since 1980. We have over 10,000 graduates and we have close to a 95 percent success rate. Like our goal is to actually put. I don't. Nobody. Nobody wants for some some dude to get handed the keys to a twenty six thousand pound truck, and then they go out there, you know, running people over. That's not a good thing. Well, thank you very mm-hmm. much, Hamrick. I really do appreciate it. I will definitely take Absolutely. this over to my, over to my Facebook group, and I will definitely share this information, uh, with some of the okay, drivers cool. that I come across that's interested in coming to an Ohio school. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit biased. I'm, I'm kind of biased because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm an alumni, an alum of Tri-C truck driving school. Oh, cool. But what will make you guys stand out from, from them, Great Lakes, 
and and the other truck driving schools that's in that's in the area. Why why would somebody so, want to come to you guys? I mean, that's true too. That's true too. If I had to give just one reason, quite honestly, I think that my reason would be that you know um, I'm not taking anything away from those other schools. They are phenomenal schools. But like Tri C, Tri C has a truck driving division. Well, truck driving is all we do. So that's our specialty. Um, and Great Lakes, you know, they can teach you A, they can teach you B. All we do is A in a manual. Like, literally, this is our specialty. This is exactly what we have been doing since 1980. We have perfected it. We are good at it. And we don't branch out in other directions. It's, it's this. This is our thing. So I would say that's probably what sets us apart. How, how much is the class again? Uh, seventy-one ninety-five. Seventy-one ninety-five. Thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. You are more than welcome, my dear. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call. I will. Let's talk about it. Hamrick <laughs> Truck Driving School out of Medina, Ohio. And that's all they focus on is truck driving. You will be learning out of a manual. No automatics, no nothing. You will be driving a manual. Is it real? And you will not have no restrictions on your license when you get it. But I've never seen anything like this before. But like, what about what about for us that do have restrictions and we want to come in and get them lifted? Unfortunately, through Hamrick, you have to go through the whole process. Price is seven thousand dollars. So if you want to learn how to drive a manual and you want to get your license restrictions lifted. That's the only downfall I believe that you're going to run into is paying that cool $7,000. But for the people that don't have their license at all and they want a good school to go to, Hamrick is going to be one of those good schools to go to because they only train out of a manual. So you're going to learn everything about the truck, everything about the laws. You're not just going to go to Hamrick and spend $7,000 just to get your license. They're going to teach you everything about the truck, everything about the laws. That's a good thing. Hamrick, has anybody came out of Hamrick truck driving school? If so, let us know in the comments below. Hamrick truck driving school out of medina ohio they are one of the trucking schools that you can go to the other one being great lakes trucking school which we're going to call shortly and try c technical institute that is the truck driving school that yours truly has came out of back in the end of 2014 well I am Lockout Man. This is the MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. If you guys have any suggestions that y'all want to get in, get it in now. You can do it by Gmail. Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Leave it in the comment sessions as usual. Or you can support the calls and you can do that by the Cash App Dollar Sign Lockout Men. Let us know who would you like to call or know in the notes. And then after that, we will give you a shout out for making that suggestion. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next, next, next.